Hello everyone, and welcome to Global Scholarships, your go-to channel for all things related to studying abroad. In this episode, we will look at the undergraduate admission procedures of Johns Hopkins University, also known as Johns Hopkins, Hopkins, or JHU. But first, let us have a brief preview of John Hopkins University. Johns Hopkins University is an American university located in Baltimore, Maryland. It is a private institution that offers different programs like arts, sciences, engineering, and law. However, it is best known for its quality public health education. The university was founded in 1876 and has several campuses in and out of the United States such as in Italy and China. At present, it is at the 25th spot in the QS World University Rankings. International students looking to pursue a degree in public health can apply a dual degree program for undergraduate students or through the MSPH Health Policy for Master's students. A PhD program in public health is also available for those looking to pursue even more advanced research and teaching. That's it for the brief preview of Johns Hopkins University. So, how do we apply to the university? Our first step is going to Google and searching for Johns Hopkins University. Find the right search result, which should be the one with the text, Johns Hopkins University Home. In the university homepage, you can find an apply button on the right side of the screen. Find Undergraduate Admissions and click on More About Undergraduate Admissions. In this page, find the How to Apply text and hover your mouse on it. A tab should show up below your mouse. In this tab, you will find Application Deadlines and Requirements. In this page, we will find all the important deadlines for each application entry type. This is the page where you will find all application deadlines, procedures, and requirements for Johns Hopkins University. This is their undergraduate admission page. Now that we have shown you where the procedure and requirements are, let us go through each one of them. Johns Hopkins University accepts two kinds of admission applications, Common Application and Coalition on Scorer. Click on one of these two, create an account, and submit an application to Johns Hopkins University. These two links will redirect you to a website used by tons of universities in America. It serves as an online college application form where many universities in America use. This online form will only require basic personal information such as your name, address, GPA, and extracurriculars. This form will also serve as a profile that can be used as your admission application for other American universities you're interested in. After the Common Application and Coalition on SCORE, the first specific requirement of Johns Hopkins University is its supplemental essay. You can read this on your own, but this requirement is simply a 300 to 400 word essay summarizing and introducing yourself to Johns Hopkins University's admissions committee. We advise that you include your interests, background, community, and identity. Most important of all, keep it concise. Next requirement is the $70 application fee. If you do not have the money or do not want to pay this, you may request a waiver through the Common Application or Coalition on SCORE. This application waiver has a requirement and sometimes you may not be eligible for it. If you are deemed ineligible, you can find a representative from your current high school and submit a fee waiver request form that you can find right here. A document that can help you get admitted in the university but is not required are your standardized test scores. These include your scores in different academic tests such as SAT, ACT, and English language proficiency exams. Again, this is not necessary but might be a good idea for those who want to get a better chance at getting in the university. You can learn more about this by clicking on this text right here which reads, Learn more about our test optional policy. If you sign for an early decision admission, 
you must sign a binding agreement with the university. This will also include your parent or legal guardian and your secondary school counselor's signature. For more information on this, you can always click on the text right below. There are four more application requirements down below. One is your secondary school report, which includes a counselor recommendation, transcript of your grades, and high school profile. These are to be submitted in the Common Application or Coalition on Square. Another one, well, two to be exact, are two evaluation or recommendation letters from your secondary teachers. These are also submitted in the Common Application or Coalition on Square. Aside from the secondary school report, Johns Hopkins University will also require you to submit a mid-year school report that shows your performance in the first half of your senior year. This allows the university to have a proper look at your performance and attitude as a potential student of Johns Hopkins University. Finally, since we're going through these as an international applicant, an International Certification Finances form is required. But what is an International Certification of Finances form? And what is it for? Johns Hopkins University allows international applicants to apply for financial aid, and a certification of finances is your proof of available funding. If you are interested in financial aid, you will need to submit a certification of finances form which is found in a link in your applicant portal. If you are not interested in financial aid, you will still need to submit a certification of finances form to show that you have sufficient funding for your study needs. Now, some of you might be wondering, is this really the admission procedure and requirements for international students? Yes, yes it is. Simply click on the Explore Our Resources for International Students. Scroll down until you find who is an international applicant and applying for a Hopkins. In this text, it reads, there is no separate application for international students. And if you're doubting your eligibility as an international student, you can find their description of an international applicant right here, under who is an international applicant. That's it. We hope this video helped you in your progress as an international applicant in Johns Hopkins University. If you have any requests, suggestions, questions, recommendations, or additional information you want to share, you can comment down below or message us on Facebook. If you found this video helpful, drop down a like and subscribe to our channel for more information on international education. And if you're looking for comprehensive guides and scholarships to study abroad, don't forget to check out our website, globalscholarships.com. So, see you on the next one.